the Topkapa Palace. This would be where the Sultans reigned for 400 years. We finally got into the grounds of the Sultan's Palace. This is how the Ottomans lived in very opulent surroundings. So Suleiman the Magnificent built this and it is 500 years old, guys. 500 years old. 500 years old. Beautiful pocket watches from the Ottoman. This uh, clock museum here in the grounds of this palace. Oh, wow, fantastic uh, Ottoman clocks. We were just thinking probably many people were killed by these and uh, here they are in a museum now. This is probably a crusader sword here from the Byzantines and they are huge. The armor of the Ottomans. Imagine guys wearing chain mail armor, how heavy it would have been. I heard this was one of the biggest emeralds in the world. This is to protect the head of the horse and the head of the human. Got some pretty long guns, like 18th century sword of Mehmed the Conqueror, the one who was able to reach the walls of Byzantine Constantinople. Opulence, look at this, a painting, landscape painting right above this uh, beautiful view. Very cloudy Saturday, but this place is just super crowded. Sultan's throne and the Sultan's bed. I guess it's uh, big, big enough for some extra people in there. I love these kind of architecture. <laughs> Everything in here is just very opulent. This would be a library. Religious leaders reading the Quran here. It is so cold today. It's a famous tower that you can see from everywhere to kind of identify this complex. Here's the view of Istanbul from the Sultan's Palace. And down below, you can see the walls of Byzantium or Constantinople. Yeah, so here you can see the, the Byzantine walls. It's definitely broken in places. Super cold day, but it is one of the world's most beautiful vistas or views. We need to come in the summer again. It's really cold. It's the middle of February. Ancient walls of Constantinople from this palace. So many wonders in the city. Could be a statue on it. Yeah, biggest Roman columns that I've ever seen. Look at the size of it, the capital of the column anyway. Yeah, you can imagine the old views of Istanbul when it was in the nature. There wouldn't have been any of these huge buildings in the century. All ships. We are in another one of these beautiful rooms with the throne of Sultan Mehmet II, the one who conquered Constantinople.